1971, compelled by the love of Christ to spread the gospel and to play a part in the betterment of the lives of Ugandans, Bishop Festo Chivengere started African Evangelistic Enterprise, Uganda. This happened after inspiration from Dr. Michael Cassidy, with whom Festo had walked a journey of faith. Fifty years later, the organization's mission to evangelize the cities of Africa in word and deed and in partnership with the church has tremendously progressed. African Evangelistic Enterprise, whose mission is to preach the gospel in word and in deed. As Bishop Festo Chivere used to say, empty stomachs can't listen. If you want people converted, you want to deal with them wholly, word and deed. Preach to them, but also take care of their physical needs. AEE had a great ministry that cut across. Interdenominationally, it went to different places. It not, did not only do schools ministry, but also the workplace people. And I, I got so caught up with the evangelistic approach of the preaching of the word, and more attracted to it than anything else. Literally millions of people have received Christ as their Savior and Lord. Back in the 70s, the 80s, because of what was happening in the country, AEE did a lot of support for students, for children from primary school to secondary school, and even uh, at university level. AEE has participated in emergency relief in the mud slides in the uh, Mbale area. AEE came in to support those who had been affected, all the way into South Africa, where the focus there was a lot on reconciliation. And uh, in Kenya, in Rwanda, uh, in the times of the genocide, AEE was very active, helping uh, to preach the gospel, but also helping with reconciliation. AEE is not a church, and AEE does not go in an area to establish churches, but we work in partnership with churches. And uh, one of the things I can ably say is uh, we focus on reaching out to people in or through proclamation, uh, that's of the gospel, and then standing with the church or equipping the church to know what a, a kingdom mindset is. It is a very powerful strategy, has helped us to reach people who would not have opportunity to interact with and present the gospel to, uh, other than of course waiting for them to come to church, and some of them don't even come to church. AEE is now implementing a strategic plan. This strategic plan is going to run for five years. We are now one and a half years into it. And of course our mandate is to reach out to the people in the cities and in partnership with the church. When we are moving into a new city, we send an advanced team to go and do the mapping, to understand the area, the reason is, as we do evangelism, we want to respond to a need. The work of the organization has been far-reaching millions of people with the gospel and multiple projects initiated in many parts of the country. These programs have empowered millions of people to achieve and sustain a better quality of life for themselves and their loved ones. Currently in West Nile region, Beneficiaries are engaging in a number of activities that are progressively developing their economic situations and by extension, that of their communities. AEE West Nile operates in two districts, one in Arua, the second one in Terego. We work in three approaches. The first one is quality education for all. Then the second one is sustainable income. The third one is community empowerment. In our years of work, we have managed to reach out to over 5,000 people. That is 4,000 women and 1,000 men through skilling them in different trades. For example, welding, bakery, tailoring, and motorcycle repair. Alu, me finyandra dia desi ani afasi sosko. Me fili ani ba wizi songo narko ani ba bongo songo narko. Tem 
e e e o fim maria vou ma fazer soma disse mamã sente su ma se e de que vem a mãe basim amém basu basende tamba angoniare a fazer zima me fez mamã sente que su disse as ma será andro me su sente mas a ni disse de lá ele mamã mas que fez curuera mas as mãe pongo dizer ma rodze mamã ni e o mamã é tirquiam Afan ini sih, tiap-tiap malam saya film, saya mahu bisnes ni, mana mana sih kita sekolah. Ya, orang dari mesu grup di Aliara, alis kune ama muncondra nu kore, andre rembalo ni, amesu alenia, anu kilo angire, rendra kilo okor sere, turiri, kalau ada orang Asia, amuzi anu dari relita lo dari, selingkal tuisi. Ani, ame susen dale niara, ama yedi anzo turi rizo dere, bolu, bolu kali rise, mba Asia ne, ame suvini dale nia afa, kali aro kilo, kali aro, amu zivini re, ame susen susen dera. Ao mesmo lugar se a tua angola que ande a pendia dia não puderu ande a mãe para lá se para fazer a mãe trofe a mãe entra aqui o cu trofe vinte e cinco trofe de dois a tanta a mãe por aí muito da trofe de dois é e ima programa a vale antes de que o cu a fa trofe de dois a rico ande a mãe trofe lá sa se a mãe de dois sa se re a fu se a mãe pela manga do o ba me se dê a manga o né Awak pun di bawah tu pun amat cemuk diri, kai kofu amat sana. Elzur de, empat abad dia mana? Kara 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 kara. Anggu dia dikira, anu kau dia aku dia dikira. Kini bawa mabal lata, bawa metek tondolo, bawa maga gasi aku dikira masa sibi area semanya kai kau ni tu. Baju ni antara antara dia, dia de, angga aku empat abad di empat dia. Amo ni binera. Sasiamapadintekiwapuria,sabitiyaloalusi,samutisiamamapanikitejusiya. Ini tu nizo, omi amavu ambori, amamu isu omi ambori, nole di ambori, bisi duzi da ni amisi, izi apa ba zivoko, la si ya fe ni ni awatfora, ma askoni ma tendi e ini di angere ambamba, e ini de e fode nisi, awadi kwa fe ni ambamba, askoni nzema iyo nzere maliar si, iyo alar maliabo. There are many partners who have robust resources, they will never disappear. The day he came in, he said, this is what we have. Can we see how to make better use of this? See how value for money can be generated out of this? For me, that's why I have said, this is the organization that we are ready to work with. There are big, big organizations that, on the ground, if you ask me for their performance, what successes they have scored, I will start biting my tongue. There is no clear success that I can go. But I think, way they are here on my head. I don't need to research from any, anybody. Maybe even from books, I will simply go for the figures. But to say the the, 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 the tenets of what they have done, they are here. In Bosoga, inclusive education and the infrastructure required to create the best atmosphere for learners has been identified and addressed. The African Evangelistic Enterprise has been existing in Busoga for the last four years. We do have different pro projects that we are implementing. We have a project called Bonga, in which we support out-of-school teenagers to gain self-confidence. Uh, also, we give them saving skills while they're in their groups and give them life skills. <laughs> Na baso misa mwe stage jetuli mwe yama yama wale ya doro sen stage na vao na baso misa mu chetweta oku savinga saa we nene chuka chuka jendi na na linga ngatubule chukumi 
ngakaka pito tuzira ai mama yanko bane wola kumubana ange musevingi era nata wakaka pito buli sawe no ntunda ku wemvu eno ngabukali njana tunda kwa obumena mu center we also provide quality education and in the quality education component and we have so far built five schools can allow children with disability also be able to access we also conduct trainings for principal trainers to see that they acquire the skills that are needed to train children with special learning needs we also have a program called tofi that is together for inclusion in which we see that we try to sensitize the schools to see that they are able to accept children with special learning needs and it's a big program program that we are promoting in community and according to our records, we have around 40 learners who are li uh, living with this disabilities, especially those who can't hear well. Then we have those who can't talk, that are, those ones are dumb. Also, we received some wheelchairs in the villages there, because we have children who can't even uh, try to use those crutches. So we thank AAE that uh, we really provided some more materials to these children and they are really very happy. AEE is partnered with the, the district, especially in the education and health sectors. We are renovating classroom blocks by constructing pit latrines where they renovated uh, two classroom blocks and provided even uh, uh, desks. It has uh, definitely improved the learning environment of uh, the pupils in those schools and uh, even the communities have uh, benefited in that their children are learning in a good uh, environment. So AA and, uh, and the school are planning to renovate that uh, block which is in the middle there. So once it is renovated, it will capture many learners to come to where? To school. So with the help of this organization, we were given inductions skills of how to handle out of school children. And this has helped many parents that they are now able to bring those children to school. They used to leave them at home because they thought they are useless. They cannot do anything. But as I talk today, because of the sensitization made by AEE Uganda, parents are now enlightened. They know the value of educating all the children without discrimination. The girls come to school, the boys come to school, children with a disability come to school, and they fight to see that they all get what they are supposed to get. In Jeru, Hoima and Masakan Nile Vocational Institutes, AEE has empowered youth with marketable skills that can enable them earn a living in the most competitive marketplace. Nile Vocational Institute in Jeru was founded in the year 1988 and so you'll realize that we are over 30 years old and from that time to date our role is to holistically transform the lives of the youth through evangelism and vocational skills training. Basically we have 12 occupations or trades, we have welding and metal fabrication, we have plumbing and pipe fitting, we have electrical installation, we have building and construction, we have agriculture, we have cosmetology which is beauty therapy, we have uh, auto mechanics, we have carpentry and joinery, we have textile technology, we have catering and hotel management. We have early child development. We also have business courses like secretarial studies and then accountancy. Thousands have been given the opportunity to learn life-changing skills and are now contributing to their communities. In Kampala, a number of occupants are faced with hardships that come with the urban setting. The high cost of living is a challenge that weighs many down and affects their quality of life, sending them down a dark path. Because of 
the influence by, by the project because of the dialogues we have had with them. We have seen young people moving away from the streets. Uh, those who have been engaged in commercial sex, we have seen them move away from the streets. We have seen youth who have uh, moved away from gambling sites, who have moved away from drug abuse, and those testimonies are there. Kangezo wa nalinga malaya. Ngobela awe, no gamba kati msajja wa kwana, no gamba unu ya gendo kola chi, okumpa. No genda wote, no genda kalinga wala lebi nitu wito, no gula mbange, tebuli konte wa mtu wa soo kukole sente, no imiriza wa wala munga maniti chintu. Kugena nga no msajja nzisila wa ntita ina sente zampa, nga kansale wa mkole chi, mbatiso no mbatiso ni mbatiso ni nsubo kubeza wa wala mwange. Kati nze na gendo okulaba, nga wina ingi la sile, kwa wanji girizo kusevi nga. Nenga mba kataniko kusevi nga sente zinu, mkole business. Wali yo mvubu kari ye, yo bude vuno. Anu nyacha kola, ngataina na usobozi. Na hika tizi, ee, 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 ya gena ni nkwa atako, katina higo kutunga. Nyele sawa zinu, ndi mutu unzi, ali, ayeka kasa ukutunga na bulichimu. It's been the word of God being shared with them, and then they are able to change. In our counseling sessions with them, in the groups, we do share the gospel, we do share the good news. And so, youth are able to give their lives to Christ. When I was born, I was born in the world, and 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 I was born in the world. For us, Milne, we are blessed because we are doing both of them, the word and the deed. The word preaching the gospel, the deed treating the patients. AEE decided to, tra to train the home-based care facilitators in the community. By that time, the stigma was high of HIV. So I was one of those people who were trained first in this place in various things concerning health. I was trained how to train others how to be open about the, their status, I mean HIV status. AEE's mission focuses on evangelism in the cities. Intervention in these areas has helped sustain hope among residents. We have evidence of many who are testifying of the transformation in their lives. Over the years, actually it is more than 20 years now when we have been uh, giving these services. And we have evidence of those young people who have gone to their families, impacting their family in terms of earning an income, but also those who have touched the, their relatives with the gospel because of the transformation they, they received while they were with us. I was introduced to African Evangelistic Enterprise uh, in 1973 when I left Makerere University as a fourth year medical student. When I wrote to them for support, they answered and said, well, we'll give you some support. And they paid my tuition fees for the last semester at the University of California. AE and the Keta Scholarship changed my life because it gave me an opportunity to complete my university. Then I, pr I went on to do a master's in the UK because they were doing the deed of actually educating us, but they were also instilling the values of Christ in us through the word, through the mentorship, through the prayers we would have there whenever we would go. And I want to invite you to come and join hands with us. As the scripture says, the harvest is plenty, but the workers are few. With our passionate and mission-driven members, AEE remains as dedicated as ever to spread the word of God in Africa through stratified evangelism and to help improve as many lives as possible. I'm actually very happy that the African Evangelist Enterprise is now 50 years of age operating in Uganda. 
it has done good work both to me and to many other Ugandans and would like to see it doing more and more both in Uganda and in other countries.